Hello all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here. And I got to talk about you guys with My Hero Academia Chapter 370. And what a chapter. This is a pretty deep chapter, you know. Uh, I had to deal with a lot of racism, hate, differences and all. I guess uh, show a little bit of Spinner's life. Showing how um, the people in this world see differences. You know, they treat the people that look like um, the lizard, like Spinner, uh, little polar bear, Animals you see in my hair, they have different animal breeds like centipede and uh, different people look like animals. And you see them all the nasty words and say, say, Die, you filthy monster. Mutants shouldn't leave their homes. I can't believe they have the tainted blood. You people trick us. Our land will be forever stained. Leave. No matter how far the world progress, we will never accept the tainted blood of yours. Damn, that's pretty deep, you know. And not just Spinner went through this, it's Shoji as well. That's why this was a pretty epic chapter for Soji, Spinner, for a lot of people in this. Like, with a lot of different scene. that's what it explained a lot in this chapter. Uh, I guess uh, Spinner's mission in here was to break out Ko Kogri. Kogri. Remember Kogri? Uh, President Mike and um, Eraser's best friend that got turned into a, a normal. Um, he that smoky fire dude that was in um, Tuxedo. I guess they're going to break him out. He's in this hospital surrounded by 200 uh uh heroes well around 200 and then um heroes and cops and guess the the leader of the liberation army right now um it basically brought fifteen thousand with them it says right here so he said spinner a lieutenant of the paranormal liberation front the remnant of warriors and the seven uh, uh serial civilians that advocate from their actions um Overall, uh, roughly 15,000 people were marching into the hospital. 15,000 were marching with Spinner and all of them against the hospital. And you can see like attacking, fighting, all big old epic fight scene right here. Pretty crazy. And you see President Mike um, ready to defend, help, because uh, he wants to bring back his best friend. That's why Kogori's in the hospital. And you see him launching his attack against these people. Only 200 against the 50, but they're getting overwhelmed. They're, there's no way they can stop all these. Um, like all these enemies, uh, army of people and all that stuff, villains, I guess you could say all villains uh, stop these 15,000. Damn. Um, uh, even that kid that controls animal, I think animal, like that, I think that's his hero name. Um, basically got jumped and it's kind of crazy. He said, shut your mouth. We had enough. Tie him. We're not, uh, uh, writers. Get his hands. You're always saying shit like that. It's like you human face people will never understand. Damn, it's like very deep. Drop them out of the way, make a path. And they're even attacking this kid. This guy's literally a kid. You know, this hero's a kid. He's up in school and getting like attacked, mom by this uh, rioters are uh, um basically getting taxes to the ground, out of the way, vanish or disappear. Stop. Why are you doing this? I'll let it all stop this around. Are you from the city, big city? Damn traitor. I guess there there is animal people. Obviously, we saw that portal bear as a pe uh, principal, but I guess their kind got treated. If you're in a big city, they treated nicely. And if you're not, you get treated like trash. That's why they're talking like that. Open it up. Stroke man. Let him pass. He'll pass. They're trying to make room for a spinner to get through. And just, they're. And it's kind of crazy reference Star Wars in this too. I guess one of the, uh, all the, also the love leaders, uh, let rage consume you, for this is the day of the liberation. Order 66, the great Jedi perch. It represents Star Wars episode three. That's pretty crazy. Quark, counseling, quark, educated. Those are nothing but means of oppression. We know the better that anyone else will suffer the consequences. Oh, so they like can said they're talking about all the people, how, how way they got treated, all these different races, their kind, how they got treated, all the people that got beaten for being different. That's what sucks. History that on the paranormal is the history of violence against what looks different. When asked about his reason, a man that took part in these massacres simply said they were gross. So there was a time they, they were killing them. They were killing people. They were different. Different breeds, different animals. They, were, uh, they weren't human. They were killing them. Uh, but now things have changed. Oh, of course not. That's what they want you to believe. That's when they think they, they want you to know it, it, the world changed. It's not like before. They weren't killing their kind for nothing. Because um, they, they brought them up. Some are cops. Some are 
heroes, some are friends with normal people. Obviously, you see, like as I was talking about, that polar bear was a pre the president. I uh, mean, the uh, the president of the school. Uh, the the bigger the city, the more diversity they are. Yes, so claim that people educate is diversity involvement won't dis discourage me. But try to step out there, the big these big cities for a change. All you find are people who say they are gross. That's sad. So if you're not part of the big city, I guess outside the world, they they're racist and there's hate. There's a bunch of violence against other races out there. That sucks. Everyone, so this is pretty deep. Like you gotta feel sorry. You can feel the anger of these people. Like they're fine getting payback to all these people in a way. But that's justified what they do. That's what brings up the end. I'll say everyone who he hears today feels like we believe been living in the shadows. So we make our own light. We shine by ourselves. So no matter how strong the light is, I never shine on us. I'll I'll be better without his quirk. I have any of you ever thought of that? Open away. And they're all saying open away for Spinner. You people are not our heroes. He is the one who will lead us to the center of the city. They're talking about Spinner. Spinner looks like a monster. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's just a mindless. What Awful One did to him made him into a mindless being. And that's kind of sucks. That freaking Awful One's a jerk, you know? It wasn't for Shigaraki. I hope Awful One does bite the dust and Shigaraki and these group of villains live. I do. Because Awful One's a dick. You really have to make um Spinner a mindless freak. Like a mindless monster. That sucks. Um, and Spinner, because Spinner, I guess he made him like that. Because Spinner wanted to help Shigaraki get off one out. He likes Shigaraki. He looks up to Shigaraki. That's his best friend. And he wanted to help. I guess off one noticed that. I bet you um, I heard that. Somehow I felt that. That he wanted to get Shig uh, off one out of Shigaraki. So he basically made him to a mindless monster. I bet you did that on purpose. Because he did this to him. So I had no idea what they're talking about. Since all for one gave me this power, my mind's growing bank blank. He did that to make sure he falls no matter what. Whatever I just take to whatever, I'll just do as I was told. Take Kogori back. So he's basically in a fight. He's about to smash everyone. But guess who stops him? Basically Shoji. And this actually made me kind of like I'm, I'm pretty hyped because Soji uh, is one of those like I no one care characters, you know. But the way he's fighting right now, octa blow, he just drawing down, boom, boom. I like I like uh, hand to hand combat fighting a lot. So that's gonna be pretty epic right here. Uh, you see him taking down Spinner, this big old monster. But then you see the rioters basically getting him. Uh, it's, you bastard, damn traitor! He thinks he's some kind of hero. Kill him! They're just jumping. Remember, these are kids, basically. They're jumping kids. And that's what's sad. Like these are probably like 16, 17 year olds, maybe. Um, kids that are being heroes that are fighting line. They're getting stomped, and being scared. Imagine the fear in them. Um, and he is part of their kind too. But he was raging in the city. Like people raised in the city are treated different than the people outside of the city. What does attacking the hospital to do? And this is what his speech was. Was Choji's speech. Um, uh, what does attacking the hospital have to do with your cause? And he he's talking to him. I heard that in Jaku. Remember the last fight? This is what he's mentioned speak. The heroes, when they attack the hospital, because that's when the doctor, the mad scientist was operating on Shigura uh, Shigaraki. You're, if you're watching the anime show, you're, you're, you're seeing that right now. The attack on the hospital. The heroes, when they attack the villains, they attack, they make sure all the, the patients are out before they were attacking more. Uh, first thing the heroes did was evacuate the patients and the staff from the hospital. They started attacking was everyone was safe. What about you guys? Have you ever thought about that? And they're asking, have you thought about the people that are in the hospital you're attacking right now? There are 15,000 just riding, attacking everybody. No matter how far we progress, we never accept that tainted blood of yours. And I guess we've seen a little flashback of Shoji's um, that he was treated like that as well. He was treated um, different and hated. And people make fun of him. And um, people say, you're not going nowhere. You'll never be a true hero because you are different. You're an animal. And you see him break, the out, break out of the rider's hand. I swear, if the answer is no, I will never forgive you. You see a big old monster in this right here. You feel like a big old showdown's going to blow between Spinner and Shoji. And that's going to be pretty epic. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm actually looking forward to that fight. The young man screams, blowing away darkness. And that's the end of chapter 370. It was a pretty deep chapter, this was. Um, talking about racism, hate, 
uh, how all these people are feeling that marching with Spinner, his army, uh, trying to free Calgary. It sucks what Awful One's doing to Spinner, being into a mindless beast. Um, basically, almost feels like he's a, a normal as well. Um, and it's because I, I want Spinner to win, <laughs> but this kid's making me like him a lot. I love, I like, kind of like Shoji's action right here. I, want, I hope it's a great fight scene. They're probably going to show a little more Shoji's background because it looks like he was treated different for being a different race as well. So this is a pretty deep, dark chapter right here. This is getting serious. And it's, that's how our world was built. Like your, your difference being color or a different race, getting mistreated, that sucks. Um, and it's cool that uh, Hiro uh, Koshu is doing something deep to bring a message in this as well. Kind of like deep messages in manga like this. I like it a lot. That makes sense. That's why I'm a big fan of the X-Men because that's the whole X-Men is built on racism and differency as well. Like this right here. And Spinner shows how dark my hero academy is and not about heroes and villains and sunshine and being a hero. No, there was some racism and hate in this world as well. And that's what developed Spinner. And that's why these League of Villain characters are pretty, are really cool and unique. They were created uh, to be these villains, you know, what you think about by society. Now, Spinner was part of race and hate and being treated different. He was never uh, accepted. Uh, you, you already know Toga, same thing, Toga, because her powers were different. She, her, her core powers about taking blood. Um, she was thought like a, a, a different and uh, outcast and a freak. Um, Dobby was basically pushed to the brink, um, then cast aside by his own father because he thought he couldn't succeed him, uh, succeed to be the one he wanted to be, like, all for one, I mean, all might, to pass, to pass all might, to push him to the brink, so he burned himself, um, basically, and who else, uh, twice, so, uh, twisted by his own power, his own quirk, he, he, he was broken by his own quirk. He needed help, and the only one that helped him was the League of Villains. The outside world never helped him, never gave him like counseling or therapy or anything that they never helped him like the League of Villains have. That's why they're so close, and so they all accept each other. Dobby, Spinner, Toga, uh, Twice, Shigaraki. Shigaraki accepts everybody, they all accept each other. That the outside world didn't. That's why these League of Villains, that's why I represent the villains right here and here, because they were made, that were made bad. They were. Basically, like I said, they, they didn't have a chance in this world they live in. That's why they could should, they should look at themselves. The heroes kind of felt this world they made. Like, All Might may, uh, may be the hero, the light, but he kind of fell all around him as well. There was a little darkness, pitch darkness, each around him in the sunshine and light that All Might created. There was racism, hate. There was the hey, um, child abuse going on that Shigaraki went through, you know? Um, there was, like I said, so much little darkness that got created now. That's why they're in this big old war now. That's why Shigar wants to destroy the system that these heroes made now. Bring it all down so you can create a new one. So everyone could be accepted. That's what his vision is. Shigar to destroy everything now with his power. He has the power to destroy everything and create something new. Create something maybe better. But that he has some big ideas. That's why I said it's deep, these villains are. The villains that have very deep, deep um brain but this is not spinner's idea like say he probably would may evacuate it maybe i don't know but he did this they basically the people around him are taking this guy that's speaking is taking control spinner's not making uh speeches or anything like he says he has no say so he's not even talking he's just um marching orders from all for one that's what sucks for all for one all for one's a dick i hope he black i hope he loses because he's not really operating in Shigaraki idea. Shigaraki has different ideas than all for one. Um, these League of Villains, his friends, Dobby, uh, Toga, Spinner, they all had different ideas of how the world should be than all for one. All for one, I think, is Conqueror. And Shigaraki wants change. He wants difference. He, he wants to tear this system down that's broken. You obviously see it's broken. That these heroes fail. These first, these heroes... Um, uh, Eraser had all their generation failed this world he created mm -hmm. that Spinner and Toga are in and all that stuff. He failed that system. That's why they're in this war now. Pretty deep chapter, you know. I saw it very deep. I liked it a lot. Um, nice chapter 370 was. Um, give me your thoughts below. What do you think of my hero Academia chapter 370? Do you felt the message too of this chapter was thinking how deep it was about racism differences? 
Uh, I felt how bad that Spinner life probably felt because he was probably treated, uh, hated for just being who he is, being a, a monster. That's what he, uh, the people saw him, call him gross all the time and all that stuff. That sucks. I could see anyone that got treated with hate so much in his whole life be treated like that. And you see another person that was raised like that in the system become still um, ignored that and became a hero still. So you see two sides of a coin. One stuck to evil with all that hate that society gave him, that all the hate that society gave him, he still became a hero. So we'll see how that end, that fight ends up spinning between um, Shoji. We'll see how that goes. But it was pretty deep, epic chapter. I liked it a lot. Uh, give me your thoughts below of chapter 370, My Hero Academia. Please comment below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. But thank you all for watching again. Great manga, manga week. Had a lot of fun watching. I'm going to be doing a review of My Hero Academia episode 317. The death after twice. We see how Toga reacts. Can't wait to see that. So look for a review for that. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to get all my manga reviews. And I'll talk to you all next time. I hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.